What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Tom Toughness coming at you with another music reaction. Today, we are checking out for the first time Animals. Song being House of the Rising Sun, 1964. I knew the song was old. I didn't know it was this old. And looking up the uh, little bit of info, apparently the song, I guess it's not 100% well known who actually wrote the song. There's people saying that it was thought to be written by Georgia Turner and Burt Martin. The song talks about the hard times in New Orleans, and but this is the most well-known version, apparently, by Eric Burden in The Animals, 1964. Uh, unsure if I've heard this version. I <laughs> Sorry. I, I know I've heard multiple versions, but I think a lot of those were covers. Um, and probably the most well-known one for me is the one that uh, Five Finger Death Punch did. Um, but maybe I've heard this one. I'm not sure, but 1960, that's what, 50, 60 years ago almost? Almost 60 years? Oh, 58 years ago. Okay. Simple math. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to hold this up much longer, but before we dive in here, guys, don't forget to write on down below, hit that like and subscribe button. Come on in, get to know our community, help support the channel and help support my family. It's always appreciated, guys. So here we go. The animals performing House of the Rising Sun. Crazy that they had music videos. I'm pretty sure I've heard this version. I want to say that I don't know if I've like I've never seen this video, but I'm pretty sure I've heard this version. And if I'm right, I want to say it came from Sons of Anarchy. Watch that show. I don't know when it first came out a long time ago. Probably should watch it again. It's been so long. It was a great show. But I want to say there was a scene that this song was played on. Pretty sure, uh, or I'm thinking of something else. But I I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard this version. But so far, incredible. Okay. In God, I knew I won. My father was a traitor. So my new blue jeans. I love his voice, man. I do not ever recall the keyboard being that intense. I mean, this guy is just going crazy on the keyboard. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I was so focused on the vocals. I'm pretty sure I've heard this version. I, I swear. Um, but man, that guy on the keyboard, I don't, I don't know his name. I should have looked that up, but he's nuts. <laughs> Easiest way to put it. He's really good. This is such a cool video for being back in 1964, just kind of like wandering around the room while uh, the guitarist and 
it's the bassist. Yeah, the bassist is following him around, and and you have the keyboardist and the the drummer here. It's such a unique style. I know this is the style of how the drums were played well, back in the day. Uh, it's just really different because now you look at drummers and they have like a twenty piece setup with a million cymbals and they're all over the place. But you can't deny how good at these these drummers from many decades ago how talented they were imagine if they had a drum kit that we have now unreal it'd be crazy to listen to but i I just love the style of how they play because you don't really see that too often anymore unless you listen to more like jazz um blues uh type of music now it's it, instead of like doing this now it's like just that but this is cool i'm glad i checked this one out Tell your children not to do what I did. That's such a great voice. I love like the, the serious face he has, but it's kind of a smirk, and then he got the guy on guitar just cheesing it. <laughs> I love that vintage sound. Uh, it's kind of like a echoey, but you could tell that it's old, right? Uh, and I've, I've had, um, at some point in my life, I need to get my hands on a record player. That's for sure. Because uh, I've done some reactions uh, of previous bands, such as Pink Floyd, where I've had multiple people comment saying, you know, just watching a video on YouTube and listening to, you know, uh, an audio version doesn't do Pink Floyd justice. Listen to it on vinyl, and then you will really, really, truly appreciate it. I feel like it's the same with a band with a song like this. Hearing on vinyl, just like that that, that crackle um, that you get when you listen to a, a vinyl album. Um, someday I'm gonna get one. I have to see how much they cost, but I feel like this would be a much different experience to hear on vinyl and just like sitting back, letting it really, really captivate you. Man, this is such a cool. I mean, I, I don't know if this is the original, but this is from what I read. This is the most well known and popular version, apparently. Um, but if you guys, like I said, I, I just did a short research, but if you guys know like the whole backstory of this, I'd love to read it. Throw it down in the comments, let me know. Um, as well as any other songs. I mean, I, I don't know. This is apparently the only song I've ever heard by the animals. I don't know if they have any other big hits, but you guys will have to let me know. And if there is. I'd be happy to react to them. So with that being said, guys, I'm Tom Toughness. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction, but most importantly, hopefully you enjoyed incredible, incredible, original or not version of House of the Rising Sun, because this song is incredible. It's just got that gospel rock undertone blues. I don't know. There's just so much wrapped into the song, and it's very well done, man. Incredible to listen to. But thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope to catch you at our next reaction, my friends. Take care, be safe, and goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.